Hey, it's Mr. Lineski. We are starting with Unit 9 today, finally getting away from triangles. Uh, we're going to look at polygons. Uh, most of this unit is about four-sided shapes, quadrilaterals. Uh, but our first section today, we need to talk about some sort of basic formulas and, and properties of polygons. So that's what we're doing today. Um, so what exactly is a polygon? A polygon is a closed figure. Uh, that has the following properties. It's formed by three or more line segments, and each side has only two endpoints. So any sort of closed figure um, makes a polygon. Um, there are different types of polygons that hopefully you know the names of some of these um, already. Um, but these are just some common names of polygons that you should know. So the number of sides, three, triangle, we just spent the past quarter working on triangles. Um, this unit we're talking about quadrilaterals and then uh, some other common shapes are pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, octagon, nonagon, decagon, 12 sizes, dodecagon, um, and then uh, there sort of becomes a number where we just start saying, you know, that number gone, so like 17 gone, a 30 gone, an n gone, uh, so like I think 13 is where that starts. Um, so those are just some common names that you should know or recognize that when I say, you know, the pentagon, you know that that means it has five sides. Um, so for this, uh, we're going to look at some formulas. These will not be on your SOL formula sheet. So these are formulas that you should memorize and kind of get familiar with. Um, we're going to talk about the interior angle theorem, which is the sum of the measures of the interior angles of a convex um, n-gon is... 180 times n minus 2, and n is the number of sides. So for example, if I have a quadrilateral, uh, where this formula sort of comes from, if I have a quadrilateral, the idea is to always break it up into triangles. So if I broke up a quadrilateral into a minimal amount of triangles, I get two triangles. And we know from before that a triangle is 180 degrees. Um, so when I add 180 plus 180, I get 360 degrees for a quadrilateral. Um, if I use the formula, I would say 180 times 4 minus 2, because um, there's four sides. And this just becomes 180 times 2. And so we always end up sort of getting that interior amount. Let's say I had a pentagon. Um, it looks something like this. Um, if I make a pentagon, yeah, I don't like that. So again, break it up into triangles, a minimal amount of triangles, by just connecting the diagonals. So now there's three triangles. If I add 183 times, I get 540. Uh, if I had a hexagon, six-sided shape, again, connect the diagonals to create the uh, triangles here. So there's 180, 180, 180, 180. If I add all of that together, I get 720 degrees. So uh, here's sort of an example problem. It says, find the sum of the measures of the interior angles, uh, key there being sum. Uh, these are the sums of the interior angles um, of a regular nonagon. Nonagon means it has nine sides. So my n value here is nine. So I would say 180 times nine minus two. Um, and that gives me an answer of 1,260 degrees. So here's sort of a more mathy example. Uh, find the measure of each interior angle in the figure. So here we have a five-sided figure, a pentagon. So when you come to a problem like this, you first need to figure out, well, what's the sum of the interior angles? So that's where we use our formula. So if it's a five-sided shape, n is equal to five. So we would say 180 times five minus two. Uh, that gives us 180 times 3, which is equal to 540. So now I basically can say all of these angles add up to 540. 
And so that's going to look something like this. So 5x plus 2 plus 3x plus 5 plus 8x plus 8 plus 4x plus 15 plus 5x ish plus 10 equals 540. So now I kind of want to simplify all of this. I'll combine like terms. I'll put all my x terms together. Uh, this ends up simplifying to 25x plus 40 equals 540. Subtract 40 from both sides. You get 25 equals 500. And divide both sides by 25, and you get that x is equal to 20. Uh, we were talking about interior angles. Now we're going to talk about exterior angles. So if I have a polygon and I sort of extend out their sides, I create what are known as exterior angles. So all of these uh, little parts here are exterior angles. The cool thing about exterior angles is that no matter how many sides the shape has, um, they will always, the exterior angles will always end up equaling 360 degrees. So the sum of exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degrees. And the reason that it's always 360 degrees is because if I connect this angle and kind of go around the shape, I create a circle, and a circle has 360 degrees. Um, so the exterior angle sum is always 360. So for this problem here, it says find the value of x. We're going to do the same exact thing that we just did on the last problem. We're going to add all of this stuff together. Uh, and set it equal to 360. So for this, we're going to say 5x plus 5 plus 5x plus 4x minus 6 plus 5x minus 5 plus 4x plus 3. Running out of space. 6x minus 12 plus 2x plus 3 plus, nope, that's it. Uh, that, and then that equals 360. Uh, so when I simplify all of that down, I get 31x minus 12 equals 360. So I'm going to add 12 to both sides, giving me 31x equals 372. Divide both sides by 31, and you get x equals 12. Um, so then if we were finding each individual angle, we would substitute 12 back in, which is actually something I probably should have done here. Uh, back in this problem, if I substitute 20 back into these problems, I would find each angle. Um, so now we're going to look at a table that kind of just breaks down the formulas for you. Um, there's two ways we can look at problems. We can look at total sums or we can look at individual angles. And if I want to just find an individual angle, regular polygon means that all of the sides are the same and all of the angles are the same. Um, so we already looked at this formula here. This is our um, 180 and minus 2. So n represents uh, the number of sides, and x will represent sort of our answer, uh, the sum of the angles. The exterior angle, the total sum, no matter what, 360 all the time. If I asked you to find what each individual exterior angle was equal to, so the individual angle, I would take 360 divided by n, the number of sides, and that would equal x, um, which would be the angle. Similarly, I can give you the angle and ask you how many sides does the shape have, and you can do 360 divided by x, and that will give you n. Um, for individual angles, this one's a little bit tricky, um, but the easy way to do it is to just do 180 um, minus the given angle. Uh, so we're kind of calling that x. Um, and then you basically do 360, and that will equal some number. And then you basically do 360 divided by that number. The formula for it is um, 180. Uh, n minus 2 divided by n, but it's very rare that we actually use that formula because most of the time we're actually solving for n, we're not really solving for um, the number. So 
Here are some example problems I'll walk through. This is very similar to the questions that you'll have on your test um, and that you'll see in the practice. So it says if each interior angle, so each tells us that we're talking about an individual angle or one angle, each interior angle of a regular polygon measures 135 degrees. How many sides does the polygon have? So this is what I was just referring to um, up here that we're kind of solving for n. How many sides does it have? So if one individual angle or each angle equals 135, the easiest way to do it is to take 180 um, minus 135. And basically what we're doing is I sort of have some polygon that I don't really know what it looks like. Like it kind of is not known. But I know that inside is 135. So by doing 180 minus 35, I'm actually solving for the exterior angle. And so we get that the exterior angle equals 45. And now it's a lot easier to solve for how many sides does it have if I know the exterior angle. So now from here, I'm going to do 360 divided by 45. And that's going to give me 8. So this thing would have been an octagon. Uh, that's how many sides the polygon has. Next one says, each exterior angle of a regular polygon measures 30 degrees. So each exterior angle, um, so I'm giving you one um, exterior angle. How many sides does the polygon have? It's very similar to what we just did last time. We're going to do 360 divided by 30. And that gives us 12. So there are 12 sides. It's a dodecagon. Um, number three, it says the sum of the interior angles. So now I'm talking about all the interior angles. It's 2,520. How many sides does it have? So when I'm talking about interior of the angles, I'm talking about this formula here. And so I'm going to do 180 n minus 2 equals 2,520. So now from here, there's a couple of approaches you can take. You can distribute the 180 if you want to. I think it's easier to just divide by 180. Now we have n minus 2 equals 14. Add 2 to both sides, we get n is equal to 16. So that's how many sides that shape has. And then finally, it says a regular polygon has 15 sides. So I'm telling you the n value. It says what is the measure of each exterior angle? So that's when we do. 360 divided by 15, and that gives us 24 degrees. All right, that is it for the first video. Thank you for watching.